What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Tech Raj, and I'm back for another player review, man. Don't forget, if you're not following me on Twitter, Facebook, or Twitch, the link to those sites are in the description below. All right, so today's review: 96 overall, all rookie TJ Yeldon. A couple days ago in the stream, we pulled this guy, and as I started comparing him to other running backs, he looked legit. 96 speed, 97 elusiveness, 97 acceleration, 99 carry, 98 juke move, 93 ball carry vision, 94 agility and 88 truck. Now, of course, on the surface, 86 catch. He's gonna look like a pretty good speed back. He has 94 jump. His receiving stats are pretty decent. We talked about 88 trucking. 87 stiff arm is what else he has. That's the other power move there. And as I go down, he has 84 catch in traffic. I think 77 route running, 74 release. So he has good enough stats. Now we're gonna stack him up against other running backs against LaShawn McCoy, flashback LaShawn McCoy. Shady's a little bit better. If I stack him up against Lamar Miller, Lamar Miller has more agility and ball carry vision. But then I started seeing things like this. You know, if I stacked up against 99 overall Marshawn Lynch, from just a surface comparison, he looked better. Look at him against 99 Bolt. Obviously 99 Bolt has better truck and speed and acceleration, but as you can see, man, in the other categories, the other one was a lot better. You gotta be careful whenever you're doing surface comparisons like this. Because they not, may not tell the whole story. As I continued to compare him, I was like, okay, man, he's looking pretty legit out there. And one thing that I use to gauge whether or not a card is really hot or not, and whether or not I should check it out, is how many people I go up against on head-to-heads that actually have this card. So as I did these surface comparisons, I was very surprised that I didn't see more people, at least right now and recently, have this card on the squad. So the best way for us to determine how good of a card is or not is by its on the field play. Because you guys really trust my opinion. And if I tell you card is hot, I know a lot of you guys will go out there and go get that card. So as I saw that he was stacking up a little bit better than most players out there, I had to see how he played. So this is a squad that we put him on, of course. We're gonna go out to the field and see how he stacks up against other running backs with the same or higher overall. Now, of course, I knew Manny was gonna be strong on the tosses, to be honest with you, so I wanted to see how he was doing up the middle, and I was really happy to see that I was able to break a good amount of tackles when I was running up the middle. The other thing that I really liked is that when it came to those quick cuts that you can get out of using the left thumbstick, he was phenomenal nose. If you're in the pocket, or I should say running through a hole, and you found some daylight you wanted to cut inside or outside, he was able to do that very, very quickly. Of course, on screen plays, one of the biggest things, of course, is following your blocks, but it's also being able to have the speed once the defense reacts to be able to make it pretty far. The other thing is, if the defense gives you any kind of cushion, like my opponent was giving me there, I mean, I'm gonna break off a huge 20, 25 yard gain almost every time. And once again, man, going up the middle, you know, you, you wanna have somebody with great carry, just have great carry. This was the only fumble that I got while I was labbing, you know, eight or nine different games with him and seeing kind of what we could get done. On inside zones, man, inside zones are all about a player that can cut in and out to wherever you want to. And as you can see there on that last touchdown, he was able to do that pretty well. Now the thing is also his stiff arm was kind of low or I should say mediocre and anytime I try to use a stiff arm, I had some pretty good success with it. So if that was one of your favorite favorite professional moves, you're pretty good. We already talked about how he is on the tosses, man. Obviously a player with this speed is gonna be pretty good on tosses. As far as stamina, I didn't have too many issues as far as stamina goes with him. And then when he was out in the flats and he was catching passes, you know, anytime you're doing that, you need somebody with good carry as well because if not, you're gonna get exposed and you, they might cause some fumbles on you and things like that. Now, as far as his speed, to say this guy's a speed back, I didn't have many instances where I was out there breaking off big touchdowns. You know, the reason is, is because now with the defensive backs that you're having at this current stage in mud, defensive backs are pretty fast, I and mean, we've gone over that several, several times. So this guy's not somebody that's gonna have a CJ2K amount of speed. He's not gonna have a Jamal Charles amount of speed, so you're not gonna be breaking away like that like you think. You know, he's gonna be as fast as most receivers out there that are coming out nowadays. So I found myself a lot of times 
getting caught in a lot of angles and then br being brought down to suction tackles and things like that. So that's definitely one of the things there. Like I said, man, he held up pretty well as far as from a carrying standpoint. So I didn't have any issues as far as that department went. Um, and I had a lot of success when it came to that. His juke is pretty good, man. Um, even though I didn't really get a lot of crazy double jukes, you know, on players, you know, especially the way that I wanted to, um, especially in a toss format. And usually with somebody with this high of a juke move, um, even if you don't really time your juke that good, if you're using a juke move, you're gonna break a lot of tackles. On this toss right here, this is probably, you know, one of the better plays to show like the elusiveness and the speed right there. He breaks the tackle and gets a nice little gain right there. But here's a verdict, guys. He's going for about 140,000 coins. There are a lot of running backs, including 95 all-rookie David Johnson that you can get for 140,000 coins. You guys already have a lot of them. So my final verdict is, is this guy good enough for you to give up your 96 Falk, your 95 David Johnson, your 95 Dickerson, maybe your 95 Honors Gurley? The answer is going to be no. There's really nothing special here or breathtaking that's going to tell you, leave this review right now, close it out, turn on your PS4 or your Xbox, and go out and get this TJ Yeldon. And so that's why I'm going to say, man, he's an all right pickup, but there's better all around, uh, all around running backs at this price. Anyway, like if you're liking the play reviews, subscribe if you're new, get ready for that stream tonight, but most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace. But then, once again, guys, under pressure, rolling to my right, off my back foot, throwing deep, with a guy dripped all over my receiver, I really had trouble finding things that were wrong with this card. That you're really gonna see great results from him, even if he's not somebody that you're gonna be throwing deep on. But then, guys, when he's on a one on one situation, he still has good enough animations to make the catches that you need.